really this is just an illustration that we can really truly close those loops uh, because the compost that goes on at the dining hall as well as larger industrial composting that goes on down here uh, feeds these beds um, so the kids can see that return from what comes off their plate to what goes right back on it the next day. So we have, for the outdoor school, we have a three hour long class uh, on you know, sustainable gardening uh, and beyond organic gardening. Uh, in the summer camps, we'll have the kids just kind of come down and do a little bit of harvesting, get some snacks, take that back with them. Um, but really it's all about showing them that you can garden, it's not rocket science. Uh, and just encouraging them to get their hands dirty. Um, be a part of the processes that put the food on their plate. Uh, so this little garden, we're at right about an acre of land uh, and we produce about a thousand pounds of food every year that go directly into our dining halls. Uh, we try to give them to you know, the camps where the kids are coming down and volunteering first so they get to eat what they harvested and then it goes to our other dining halls and then if there's ever any extra that they can't use, we donate it to a, uh, a homeless shelter here in town. Uh, connections is a really good word because that's really what we're trying to instill in the garden is that uh, not only do we eat, but we're part of food systems. Uh, and so trying to connect people to their food, which is something that we feel like people really distance themselves from. Um, but we'll teach garden ecology uh, and what does it take for an ecosystem to, to grow tomatoes, uh, as well as um, how do we fit into kind of the more wild ecology for uh, every garden. Uh, it's very age specific. Uh, younger kids, nursery, you know, the youngest campers that we'll have are really great at harvesting beans and okra and kind of the bigger stuff. Uh, once you get into fifth grade and beyond, they're, they can do everything. Uh, it just takes a little bit of trust. So we have them plant in our greenhouse. We have them plant out later in the season. They'll weed, they'll harvest, they'll turn beds over, and they'll also help us uh, put in cover crop and prep for the next year's growth. Yeah.